pen headed up into the wood lot. You can see there's a little bit of snow. Uh, most of it's gone though. The temperature's up close to 50 today. It wasn't really going up into the wood lot today, but it's such a nice day I thought it would. Just to enjoy the day. So I thought I'd take the camera along and uh, I don't even know what I'm going to do yet. Chainsaw with me and my tools. And See what, uh, see what I decided to do. And I just wanted to take another video on the way up to where I'm going. I'm going way up to the top. I just wanted to show you the nice blue sky. Beautiful early winter, late fall day. I know the engine on the tractor is loud, but I just wanted to take a second to show you beautiful it is up here in the, uh, the woodlot today. So, uh, I'll be up there in just a minute. I won't. I'm going to turn this off and I'll let you up there. So, um, a nice section uh, of my woodlot, but there's some stuff down that i got to take care of. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. I showed you this uh, the other day and uh, this is what we're going to get today. So I'll get set up and uh, we'll get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is um, cut off a couple old stumps that are up here. I don't want to hang up on the tractor. I haven't brought the tractor up this far before, up into the woodlot on this side. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do is cut those off so I don't bottom out with the tractor. been here a long time uh, when this was logged years and years ago over 40 years ago and that little stump has been there and it hasn't really rotted off in all that time okay this is the tree that I'm gonna get <clears throat> it's a poplar that blew down uh, in a storm that we had so uh, that's the one I'm gonna get so I gotta get uh, gotta get the tractor up here set up and uh, we'll cut that and pull that out Than it's worth. 
And I'll pull that longer one out a little bit, cut off a little bit at a time. So I'll show you how I'm going to drag this out. Not much to it, but you can see it anyway. stuck on something down there. We'll uh, have to go down and check that out. I'll cut a couple of pieces off this and uh, we'll go down and check that out. Okay, I'll show you what, what the problem was. Just that small branch just got wedged there. And uh, got trees crisscrossed down here and just trying to clean up the mess is what I'm trying to do. And just uh, that one branch got behind the tree and then there's another one that's wedged here. And uh, It doesn't t make take much sometimes. If I had the, if I had the winch on there, it'd be all right. But uh, all I'm doing is pulling with chain and it's muddy up there and I'll just have to do whatever I have to do to get out, that's okay, all. Okay, now we'll try to get that up out of there. Get that branch cut down there.
it's so wet up in here, I can't pull anything. And I shouldn't even be up here today. I didn't realize it was wet over here. I'm going to get a get a bucket load of wood and, uh, and get back. I made a wrong decision coming up in here today. Come across the bucket and stuff. See if I can anyway. Get the heck out of here. Mud everywhere. You can't see it. It's on the other side of the track. It's so much mud. Maybe, well, maybe you can't see it anyway.
came near me and said, what do you want? And I knew it wasn't something else. Ow. I hate breaking my mic. I was gonna try to finish out that load, but I'm not gonna. It was just too wet. Look at the look at the ruts I'm making up here. So I'm just gonna get out of here and come back another time. Uh, I got a little bit left to get on this this tree here. So I'll get that next spring or something. Just not gonna get up and get stuck up in here and any worse than I am probably. So uh, I'll be all right.